Hi everybody, this is Gigi again from Kauai Community College. In this video, I will be talking about tricky integration by parts. And this is number three in the series. There are, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do four of them actually. So this is number three out of four. Okay, here, suppose you have the integral of e to the x sine x dx. Okay, so again, uh, when deciding uh, what u and dv are, we are going to go ahead and think about what we can integrate and what we can uh, take the derivative of, right? Let's remind ourselves again, the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du, okay? So um, here we are going to go ahead and let u be sine x and then let dv be e to the x dx. I just feel like it's easier to take the integral of e to the x um, rather than sine x, even though I think in this case you probably could do um, the other way around. But anyhow, du is going to equal to uh, the derivative of sine x is cosine x dx and then v the integral of that is just e to the x right so what you will have here is um, the integral of e to the x sine x dx is going to equal to u times v that would be e to the x sine x minus the integral of minus the integral of v du that would be e to the x cosine x dx well guess what we get to do this one more time right so um now let u in this case let u be Okay, let u be cosine x, then du will be negative sine x dx, and then let dv be, again, e to the x dx, then v will be e to the x. Okay, so let's go back to our problem. And here's the thing. Uh, we should write down what we started with, and you'll see why we want to do that in just a second. e to the x sine x dx, the integral of that, that's the original problem, is going to equal to e to the x sine x, okay? We would say minus, okay, so the purple part here is going to be minus e to the x cosine x, right? Um, minus, minus negative e to the x sine x, but then minus, minus, and then there's another minus in the front. So you still have a negative integral of sine x or e to the x sine x I should say okay now what do you notice well we should see that this right here is the same as the thing that we started out with right and good thing this is a negative why is that because we can now add it to both sides. And when we add it to both sides, we have two integral of e to the x sine x dx is going to equal to what's left there. And uh, we could be fancy and factor out e to the x. And we have sine x minus cosine x left. And then our what we were looking for, which is this right here to start out with, meaning the integral of e to the x 
sine x dx is going to equal to this thing right here on the right hand side divided by 2 e to the x times sine x minus cosine x all divided by 2 plus c okay so what's the trick here uh, why is this tricky you get to do the um, uh, integral by parts twice um, but what's kind of fun about this one is that when we um, did it the second time, we get, we end up where we started, right? E to the x sine dx. So we get to move it or add to both sides, add this one to both sides, and we have 2 e to the x sine dx on the left-hand side. And then we divide by 2. Okay, and that is why this one is kind of tricky. And you should kind of think about how um, the problem is to start with, right? We know that sine x and the derivative of that is cosine x and the derivative of cosine x give you sine back sine x, right? So if you had to go um, uh, twice, then you will end up where you started. And that's the nature of this problem.